I'm sure it's nothing you don't like. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Klazo here today, guys, and today I'm bringing you some more spoilers. Today I have five of them for you. Uh, also today, or maybe tomorrow, I'm going to release a video of uh, Duelist released a bunch of spoilers with um, with uh, some some company. I forget. I can't remember off the top of my head, but they released them, and I'm going to be doing a whole video on that one because that one's going to be long because there's quite a few of them. I haven't, haven't even got to read them yet. Uh, these spoilers are the ones from the past few days, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, one is a neutral minion, two are Song Guy, and two are Bane R. So let's hop into it nonetheless. The first card we're going to talk about is a card that was released today. It's a 4 2 Golden Mantella. Uh, he has opening Gambit and put a random battle pet in your action bar. He also costs 3 mana. Uh, so if you guys didn't know, Battle Pets is something Duelist is coming out with with the new expansion. Battle Pets are. Uh, minions that you don't control they're AI controlled but they either have good uh, abilities or they are good statted but the negative side is you don't control them uh, before people are I know before I say this people are probably like you know battle pets why would anyone why would you want to use a battle pet why would you want to use something that you know the AI controls so um, duelist already confirmed that the AI control battle pets, they're not like stupid. They're not gonna make your snow chasers run backwards onto your side of the battlefield and go stand in a corner and do nothing. You know, they're smart, they play smart, and they they help you win the game. Uh, you know, the downside is, yeah, that the AI controls it, but the upside is they either have good abilities or, you know, they're high statted minions, which is a positive. So, you know, we might see some cool synergies with the battle pets, and it might be interesting watching the AI play a minion for you and see how they would play it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, you know, obviously don't make a deck with all, you know, all AI minions. I don't even know if you can do that. I don't know if you can only have a certain amount of battle pets in your deck. Uh, I kind of have to look at that. Never thought about it. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys think it's a trash card or not. 4-2 and it replaces itself with the battle pet, which is basically just another AI minion. And, you know, if their general does one hit it, they're taking 4 damage, which isn't a bad, you know, 4 damage to the general is never bad. So, that's what I think of this card. We're going to be moving on, though. Next card we're talking about is Snow Rippler. It's a Vesper. Yes, new Vesper cards. It's a 3 mana, 3, 4. Great stats, by the way. Uh, it has Infiltrate. Whenever this minion damages the general, put a random battle pet into your action bar. Again, with the battle pets, same synergy, you know. Uh, this one's more towards the Vaynar side. The other card, I guess, is neutral, so it could be Vaynar. Um, but yeah, I love I love the stats on this. So three four th for three mana is powerful. The last three mana we card that you know I just showed was a four two, which could get one hit. This can't, uh, and it has infantry, which is great. So you know, if you're rushing over the enemy and you're on their side of the battlefield, and this does die or uh, this deals damage to a general you get a battle pet which is pretty cool um so hopefully we see some cool battle pets because i want to see what they are what they do and everything because i don't think we've seen any yet i'm pretty sure duelist hasn't released any so hopefully we see something uh see something pretty dope hopefully i don't know if the battle pets are going to be faction related or if they're just you know neutral minions so that's something i'm really excited to see because i want to see you know, I want to see the Abyssian one, I want to see the Line Arc, because those are my two main factions. I would love to see any of the rest of them as well, but those two I'm, like, super hyped for, and I want to I want to know what they do. I want to know, like, are they so, like, godlike that you're going to want to have them in every deck, or if they're going to be some kind of gimmick that no one's going to really use. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think it's a good card. I like the art on it, and I'm glad that's Vesper, because if you build, like, a Vesper battle pet deck, if that's a thing... You can put this card in there. Or if you just like its stats as a 3-4, you know, you can throw it in a Vesper deck. Because it's pretty cool for uh, 3 mana. So that's with that. The next card I'm going to show you uh, is an artifact for uh, Vaynar that's coming out to 4 mana. It's called White Asp, I guess. I don't really know. Um, your general gains plus 3 attack. Whenever your general destroys a minion, summon a 3-3 Blazing Spire wall on that space. Um, wow. So, this could be pretty OP. Um, th this, this could be pretty dope. You know, you have to destroy a minion with your general, which is going to take down one of the, uh, the artifact or abilities on this. So, I mean, max, you could probably only get, what, three out? 
but that's pretty cool you're you're killing a minion and replacing that minion who's probably next to their general with the 3-3 blazing spire so either you, their general is going to have to move backwards or move around it somehow so you have to they have to change how they play due to this artifact i think it's pretty good uh i'll probably only run one in a deck i don't think it would be that too uh too op that you want to run more than that because it is four mana uh you know pulling this card with like grincher for any other kind of artifact based deck is going to be awesome uh vaynar isn't really an artifact deck that you run with vaynar is more controlling minions and then Kara being op and just buffing everything but yeah i think it's pretty cool uh i don't think it's op I think that it's going to be interesting to play around, and I don't think I don't think it will see a ton of play. Pro probably in a few decks here and there, but not in every deck, definitely. But yeah, let's keep moving on, boy. Our next card, we're moving into Song Guy, is Katara. One mana, one three with backstab three. That's great. This is what backstab needed. A one mana card that's not a uh, heart a uh, heart seeker, whatever it's called, the one one range thing. Uh, because that's more for the Reva deck. This card is, this is what Backstab need. I'm glad it has Backstab 3, because now it's going to do, uh, you know, it, it's going to do a lot more damage. Um, and even if not, you have a 1-3 that you can play turn 1. You know, they can't one-hit it with the general, which is pretty cool, and it has Backstab, so it, it works with the Backstab theme. I'm so glad they added this. Uh, you know, I'm not the biggest Song Eye player, but I have some friends that are big, big Song Eye players, and I know they're going to love this card. Uh, backstab, I feel like, is the weaker of, you know, the things that you can do in Song Guy. You're either Spell High or Backstab. And you see Spell High a ton more than Backstab. You know, occasionally you also see Ranged Song Guy too, but I feel like Ranged you can, you can win really easy against because if they're just running all Ranged minions, you can just get around them and push to the back of the map and that's it. So, yeah, I think he's pretty dope. I think this is what Song Guy needed. I think that a 1-3... Backstab 3 is awesome because now you can do so much more damage with him. Uh, you know, you can do what, up to 4 damage? So that, that's pretty dope. I'm glad they added this. This is this is a great card. Last card we're going to talk about today is Shadow Waltz. 1 mana, again, lower the cost of all minions with backstabbing your action bar by 1 and give them plus 1 plus 1. Well, this is a 3 auto occlude in any backstab deck because this is great. You lower their cost and you buff them at the same time for one mana? Um, what? What duelist did you just do? You just made backstab so good with one card. One card, they just made it... Oh my god. Um, yeah. Yep. I Song guy, backstab's the way to go. Uh, I can't wait for these cards to come out because I want to build such a good backstab deck. Like I said, uh, my opinion, you know, I'm not the greatest duelist player, but definitely I would have run three of these in a backstab deck all day, every day. You, you know, you lower the cost of them in your action bar and they get plus one, plus one. That is just, what more do, you, do people want? Like, that's, that's just great. You get to lower stuff in your action bar and buff it at the same time for one mana. One mana. Oh, that's so great. I would think this card would be like two or three mana, but it's only one. And that's what makes this card really good, I think. If this card was a little higher, then I'd be iffy on it. But one mana, you can't beat that. That's that's a deal. That's a deal of a lifetime. You better take that card and put three of them in your backstab deck. And if you don't, then I don't know what the hell you building, but you need to build this. But anyways, guys, those are the spoilers I have for you today. Uh, today or tomorrow, probably today because I don't have time tomorrow to do it, uh, I'm going to be putting up two more videos i'm going to hopefully put up today i'm going to put up an intro video for my channel and i'm going to put up the pc gamer video that's what it's called uh they spoiled like 10 cards and you guys are going to love that video but do me a favor if you guys did enjoy this video leave it a thumbs up comment down below tell me what you guys think of the spoilers that uh, i showed you today if you guys liked them let me know if you don't like them let me know uh if you don't like what i think about them then well let me know as well Anyways, subscribe, help out. We're almost at 100 subs. We're like three or four away. And I hope you guys keep on dueling. My name's Colazzo. I hope you guys have a good day. And I will see you guys next time.